For the following exercises, write the domain and range of each function using interval notation. All right, so in order to approach this, first we just wanna know, remember, domain is basically the possible x values that a function is allowed to have, and that the range is simply the set of y values, okay? So when we look at this first graph, uh, what, what I wanna do is I wanna first work with the domain. You could work with the range, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna work with the domain, okay? Basically, I'm looking for the leftmost point and the rightmost point. So in terms of the leftmost point of this graph, it looks like it's going to happen right about here, right? Now this one is tough to tell, but this one is a little bit off center of x is equal to negative two. It's like, it looks like it's negative maybe two and a half. All right, I know that's a little tough to see, uh, but that's what it is. So we know it goes, this graph goes all the way out. The lowest point is in terms of X, it's gonna reach about negative two and a half, okay? Exclusive of it because it's a circle. So when I now put in my bracket, uh, when I put in my parentheses, it's gonna be a parenthesis because it means exclusive. So exclusive of all the way from negative 2.5, Okay, all the way out now to, we have to think what's the rightmost portion. Now notice there's an arrow here, which means this graph continues on forever. Okay, and it's gonna be continuing on forever at a little bit of an angle there. So it's tough to tell, but if you imagine this line continuing on forever, it's going to continue on forever therefore in the X direction. So it goes all the way out to, don't know how that happened, goes all the way out to positive infinity. All right, so it goes all the way out to positive infinity, exclusive of it because you can't actually include infinity. It's not a real number. Now, when we think about the uh, range, right, we think about the lowest and the highest point. So the lowest point that this graph will reach is right here at x is equal to negative four, okay? Now, all of those values are filled in, okay? So when we do our range now, it's inclusive of negative four. And then what's the highest point that the graph reaches? So don't get confused by this. I don't care what that is. I want to know the highest point. Remember, this continues on forever. Okay, so it's going to go all the way up to positive infinity on the y-axis. So therefore, it's going to, that's the upper limit. And we can't include infinity because, again, it's infinity, right? I mean, I know that definition is circular, but infinity is not a number. It's an idea. So that takes care of that. Now we can easily approach this, right? The leftmost point of the graph in terms of the domain here is going to be right around, it looks like x is equal to three, uh, negative 3, inclusive of it because it is a filled in circle. So we write negative 3. Then we have to think, well, what's the rightmost point? Well, this thing is going to go on forever. I don't care that these are filled in. It's just a distraction. I want to know the rightmost point. If, if they were not filled in, then I'd have to, then I'd have to worry about it, okay? But if, if they are filled in, it doesn't matter. They're part of the domain. So since this is going to continue on forever, it's going to basically continue on forever in the x direction. So therefore, it's going to go on to positive infinity, okay? Parenthesis there. And now when we do the range, right, think about the lowest and the highest value. The lowest y value this can obtain is y is equal to zero here, inclusive of it because it's a filled in circle, okay? So zero, comma now, what's the highest y value it can obtain? Well, it's gonna go on forever, goes all the way up to positive infinity that is, so it's gonna go all the way to infinity exclusive. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it very much. I do hope these videos help you out tremendously. Um, I look forward to helping you with more questions. Take care.